Hello everyone, this is Omkar, working as Senior Application and Sales Engineer in Divine Technologies, Pune. We are authorized channel partner of Tektronix and Kitli. Today I am going to demonstrate the Kickstart software. So Kickstart is a bench software that simplifies what you need to know about the instrument. In just minutes you can take the instrument out of the box and get real data on your device. Plotting data immediately and offering quick statistical summaries of the data in the reading table. The software saves your time by facilitating quick replication of tests and comparison of results using convenient expert features. Kickstart enables you to focus on your time on interpreting the test results so that your team can meet its innovation goals. You can connect multiple instruments and log and analyze the data. So let's start with the actual demonstrations. So as I explained, you when you are in your lab and you want to control multiple instruments, uh, by I connect, uh, you want to connect the multiple instrument to your PC and control it and uh, store the data and do the waveform analysis on uh, graphs. So how you can do that? The answer to your queries is Kickstart software. So you can see on the screen instrument there are two options instruments and apps so when you are in instrument and as soon as you connect the instrument to your pc kickstart software automatically detect the equipment so you don't need to do any type of setting so it saves your time so you don't need to do any setting or it will automatically detect but right now uh, i have not connected any physical equipment to the kickstart software I have other option. I will go to the apps and now I can do the uh, I can use the simulation. Okay, so where you can see in simulation there are different equipments are available like data logger, DMM, high resistivity meter, IV characterizer, power scope, oscilloscope, and so on. So I will start with the data logger. So here also in simulation mode it will save your time because when you don't have equipment at uh, the time you can go to the simulation mode you can do all your setting you can select what parameters you want to measure which uh, number of how many number of channel you want to use and which channel for which measurement parameters and you can save that setting and you can recall or use it when the instrument is ready with you so it is time saver again so just double click on data logger to launch the data logger right now i don't have a physical equipment so i need to uh, use simulated one i will use dac6510 so kitli's dac6510 is a two slot data logger you can insert up to two multiplexer card so there are different cards available like uh, 20 channel 32 channel 40 channel so i will use double seven double zero which is a 20 channel multiplexer card and i will keep slot 2 open so i give my i will give name to my device as my dac 6510 and say okay so now it start will launch its uh, setting uh, configuration menu so you can see the, uh, here you can see setting table and graph so in setting you can do all your setting like there are different channels as i selected double seven double zero which is a 20 channel card so channel 1 to channel 20 and there is 21 and 22 channel dedicatedly for current measurements so on channel 1 to channel 20 you can select function like which function you will use like dc voltage ac voltage a DC current, AC current, two wire resistance, four wire resistance, temperature, frequency, period, uh, ratio, capacitance, and so on. So I will select DC voltage, and I want to do measurements of DC voltage on channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. So you can do setting like range and units and all other stuff, and just say save. And I want to do two wire resistance on channel 5, 6, 7 and 8 and save and I will select temperature measurement because I have connected thermocouples to the channel 9 and channel 10 so you can select a, a thermocouple, thermistor 
टू जी और फोर वाई आर जी डी साइल सर एंड के टाइप थर्मो कपल एंड द यूनिट्स एंड एन पी एल सी एंड सेल द सेटिंग सो आई हैव डन ऑल द सेटिंग लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू मेजर वोल्टेज रेजिस्टेंस एंड टेम्परेचर ऑन वन टू टेन चैनल एंड देर इज सम सेटिंग लाइक स्कैन सेटिंग वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द गेटिंग रीडिंग लॉगिंग द डेटा वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप सो देर आर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन लाइक ऑन वेन टू स्टॉप ऑन स्कैन काउंट आफ्टर सम ड्यूरेशन और नेवर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप जस्ट कीप इट रनिंग कीप इट लॉगिंग द डेटा आई विल सेलेक्ट ऑन स्कैन काउंट एंड आई विल लॉग आई विल I want to see only 50 readings and interval between scans I would go with 1 second okay and now we are ready with the setting just click here run app so it will run setting and it will uh, start getting your data now you can see 0 of 50 1 of 50 2 percent and how much time is remaining okay so there are two option as i told you go to the table and now you'll be able to see multiple readings the kista software is acquiring from the you from your data logger so channel 1 uh, see uh, channel serial number and then time stamp for particular reading it will uh, get other uh, reading after one second and channel 1 voltage and current you want to hide it you can hide any particular row or column and you can see up to the channel 10 voltage resistance and temperatures so one more good thing about it is that you can see at the top bottom of the screen it also shows the measurement statistics you can see the minimum reading what is the maximum reading mean and standard deviation it is also useful okay so now we'll go to the graph so there you go very good graphs in different different colors okay so kickstart uses different uh, color codings to differentiate your uh, channel because uh, whether you are using five channel or 20 channel you need to differentiate right there will be multiple channels so it helps you uh, to go with the color coding so now you can see in the setting here you can select uh, one of color there are multiple options are there you can go with your favorite color so i have selected a blue color for channel 1 or red color for channel 2 uh, in this way okay so this is very good feature also and now you can see the 50 or 50 100% run successfully completed so if you are like just observe the cursor i am whenever i am putting my cursor it shows the channel number time stamp and reading which is 949 millivolt so you can move your cursor anywhere any time and you can observe the particular measurement uh, reading of that uh, particular uh, sampling point again here you can see zoom box zoom so you can click here and you can zoom the particular particular portion of your graph like i want to zoom here okay just click here wow you can see i have zoom you know on that particular portion because i want to observe it very closely if there is any glitch or transient and you can just zoom out and one more feature that just right click and place cursor wow just move it whenever you want to uh, take the measurements it will show you the time stamp 38.36 seconds and different measurements like measurement on that particular uh, channel or that particular sampling point okay. so uh, and now we are ready with all the data i want to save the data how i can save it so here you can see the run history when you go to the run history there will be different run like right now i have uh, only one run because i have connected only data logger and uh, save the 50 readings if there are multiple run you can uh, run the like uh, run one run two run three so you can uh, check uh, all those run and now i want to uh, export the data so here you can see uh, you can change the scaling of your graph uh, what source you want or a scaling linear or logarithmic uh, or you can do auto scale also and what is the minimum and 
maximum time you require so you can do all this stuff now i want to export the data just click on it there you go there is multiple options okay so export table yeah export table i want it and i will go with the csv format uh, i don't want any uh, hidden data just exclude it and include test configuration i want uh, i want to include test configuration in the saved file because whenever next time i want to do the me same measurement i will just recall that because i will not uh, like uh, i'll not take my time and uh, just do the settings again and again just include the test configuration yeah export the graph because i i will be using the graph for my further analysis or further reporting and i will go with the light theme and just select the resolution and show the grid lines on graph here there is one option if you click here automatically export run new runs so it when you select here it will whenever you open the kickstart and do the measurement you will automatically uh, able to uh, save the run so but right now i will be uh, selecting only one run uh, so uh, you can see you can give path and file name i will give file name Omkar test one and you can see the graph will be saved in a p.png format and the raw data will be uh, that table will be uh, recorded in .csv format so uh, there are two options export selected runs or export all runs yeah so you can choose in between so i will select export selected runs okay so you save the data and you can again open that data where, where you uh, saved it and you can uh, in excel format you can open and do the uh, waveform analysis again you can use that uh, saved graph for your future use like uh, reporting and all those things so this is uh, kickstart software uh, thank you so much